Welcome back to another episode of Black Acre Ranch, guys, today. So, this is gonna be a unique day, a day which I, uh, I'm not sure if it's all gonna pan out the way that I want. As you know, we're trying to work these animals. You saw the latest videos where we worked all of the yearlings. We had brought them over. I really need to get these calves, I've got two calves, weaned off the mothers. So the condition of the mothers can start improving a little bit better. And also I wanna go ahead and feed those calves. I'll get into that a little bit later on. So today's task is really just to see if I can get these calves off of their mothers. And uh, if so, then I may work them. <laughs> And of course, as always, the way that you move buffalo is not by pushing them per se, uh, they'll sometimes fight, but to encourage them gently with things like us dudes like. And that's food. So we're gonna get some cubes, load up a few cubes. I'm gonna see if I can, I'm, I'm just getting enough to get their attention and uh, get them into the pens and hopefully this all works. But I'm gonna load up a few bags and see how how hungry they might be. Today is actually cube day. I'm only gonna bring a couple bags because ultimately I don't wanna cube the entire herd inside the handling pens, but I wanna have enough backup just in case I need a little bit more incentive. So I'm gonna start with two bags and uh, hopefully I don't even have to use all of this. If you're wondering how the yearlings are doing, they're right back where they used to be when we first got them put in here. For some reason, they just love this little corner, huh guys? Out way yonder, we have some portable panels. I'm gonna have to go ahead and block off some alley to get the adults into the big working pens. So let's go pick some of those things up and uh, go block some stuff off. Isn't that fro kind of nice? I love it. It's just a little, it's like a Bartok fro, but it's not his. Here's one, and here's two. Besides, these should be pretty light. I know guys, I know, I'm stealing your stuff. Don't worry, it'll be coming back sometime soon. Let's do this without letting everybody out. drive slow. Thank you guys, we'll see you later. Let's give it a little bit of a stance. Howdy guys. Hey Ahmed. Hey Bartok. So this is a prime example why we want to flip this gate that Charlotte brought up. It's hinged over there and so is the other one. If this gate was hinged in fact over on this other post, we could have opened it this way, blocked off, open that way and blocked off. So something for the future, but that is the reason. So I don't have to keep doing this, this junk. Okay. So what we're doing is we're gonna bring them all in here and I need, once they're in here, to get the, all of the guys in these little pens. I mainly need the calves. And there are three animals that we are gonna be selling. And if I can get those three in there as well, that would be ideal and perfect. But we're gonna take it a step at a time. So we're gonna work with you guys, 
get you in there, which I don't think will be a problem. And then if we are successful, we will set up the rest of the stuff to get them all worked. At least the ones that we've got so far, those five animals. Um, the rest of the main herd will be worked later on. All right, step one complete. Lesson learned, don't park your truck right next to the opening because it's gonna take a while for everybody to come in. All right, since Bar Talk and Achmed are consuming everything, the rest of the ladies are looking for stuff to do. Next task is to see if we can get them into the actual pins. And the only way I'm gonna do that is with cubes. So I'm gonna get back in the truck and I'm gonna see if I can get them back in there. It's just a matter of I've gotta walk in there and dump some cubes out opening all these gates and get them in. All right, everybody, so I positioned my truck. It's in here, I've got the cubes in the back. Maloney and Dino are gonna help with some gates. We're gonna close this gate in the far corner opposite once we get them all in here. So I'm gonna rattle this bag. There are, like I said, five animals we need to get in here and uh, we'll see if we can get them in. Aw, they're just playing around. All right, let's see what happens. comes kisses. Here comes one of the bulls, Bartok, and Achmed's coming. They're the ones I'm worried about. Give myself an out. Nope, don't you come near me. <laughs> I need somebody maybe to push from the back. Rock man, the park rock.
Okay, tell me if the babies are all in. I don't think they are. Okay, this might be taking a little bit longer. I'm gonna shut it off now. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so this is proving difficult to say the least. We can get half the herd in there, but not the half we want. <laughs> the mothers are definitely holding back and being a little obstinate. So we had first opened up both gates there and over there and it seemed like they would just kind of funnel through and switch. So we closed that one off, but these guys aren't wanting to go all the way over there. And we'll see if we can kind of curve them back in here a little bit. Man, Ahmed, you're in the wrong spot, dude. I need to be right where you're going. Dang it, B2. Okay, come on. Okay, wait a minute. She can go, she can go, she can go, she can go. Yeah, they're playing. She can go. You can't. I need you. Go that way. She can go. Squeeze in a little further. All right, let's see if we can get these babies. That's the mom of the littler one. You just want her head to go the right direction is all. There she goes. Yeah, and the mom's behind me. So, come on. Okay, squeeze up a little bit because I got to cut her off over here. Here comes mom. Come on, 99. Okay, she's not coming. Go in, go in, 12. Go in. Come in to me a little bit. Go in. Go in, 12. Come to me a little bit. Keep coming. Just make sure I don't get rammed from behind by the mom. Yeah, her. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I've got one green tag, two babies. Do we have two green tags or one? We got 33. Do we have that B2 whatever? All right, now we're gonna try and sort these guys off keep the ones we want and then get the others to somewhere else and let all them out and start all over again. All right, we ended up getting B2 in. She actually got in pretty easy. The plan worked to just have that open. She is now actually right there by the gate. Last one is the other green tag, 38. She's of course hanging out here by the bulls. We're gonna see if we can calmly rotate the herd. I just gotta identify her, where'd she go? She in the corner? Yeah, she's right there, I see her. Ah. The furthest away. Yeah, you girlfriend. She is mocking me. I don't like to have to move the bulls if I don't have to. As long as we keep them slow and easy, we should be fine. Yeah, she's on the other side of the bull from me. You gotta push him forward a little bit. So as long as his tail stays down and he's not like stomping and he's not like shaking his head at you, you should be fine. He's just smelling chicks. There she is. This is like a chess game, man. She just puts herself right on the other side of these bulls. Okay, you can go forward now. The bull turned. <laughs> you see Ahmed? <clears throat> yeah, she's right here. Okay, come to me a little bit. Come to me. Just let her through.
At least I hope so. I don't want you guys, I just want her. Okay, 38's in here. All right, now the task is to sort. We've got 33 in the far pen, 38 here, and the two babies are also over in the far ones. Turn the other way, turn the other way, come on. You can go seven. Come on. Come on, Mary, you don't have to go, but I'll let you go if you want. Okay, now. I'm going to turn this around the opposite way. Let those guys out. Wait, is that B2? Yeah, crap, that's B2. Okay, let those guys out. <laughs> Telling you, she's a fiery one. Don't open that. We need these two in here. Mary. Mary. Good job, Mary. Good job. She's gonna come pretty quick. All right, this side. I'll take whatever division you guys give me, except that one. Can you go in there? Open that one up. Yep. Yeah, open it, Dino. Okay, shut it. Okay, open that gate in. You're the fail safe. If it's not the one we want, you keep it closed. Because if I have to, I'll lock her in it. Come on. Shut that gate. Okay. Open it, Dino. Okay, close it. All right, guys. Now let's let them mingle a little bit. So we had uh, 38 got a little rambunctious and she uh, went after this panel or the gate. We now have a bow. She just lunged right into about here. So, all right. The adults are pretty rambunctious and wild right now. B2 especially just in 38. So we're gonna give them some time just to kind of cool off and um, the babies we put over there because the panels are low enough that they shouldn't be able to squeeze through. And by having them on the far side, we're giving some separation between them and the herd. So the mothers shouldn't be just right in their face. Um, honestly, it's not like they are. So we're gonna actually try and get these guys back out to the pasture and get them away. And maybe that'll uh, calm some people down.
All right, guys, we got all everybody worked. We got five, the two year, or the two babies and uh, the three moms. Number 33, 38, and uh, B2. I didn't film it because what was happening was, you can kind of tell, it was kind of a fiasco to try and get them in there a little bit. Um, once they were in their little pens to get worked, they just would not calm down. They just kept pacing, pacing. They'd kind of hit the gates. They would do all sorts of stuff. They even, off camera, but one of them jumped into the gate and just bowed it, right? So they just weren't calming down. And so I thought just best, let's just hurry up, try and work them real quick, get them through, get them out. And uh, that's what we did. So they're here. So what we had to do was move all of our yearlings here to pen B. We, so we took them where they were and we shifted them up a pen. And we just brought them two troughs for cubes that we're gonna give to them. You'll see that there is the water trough right up there on the hill. So we are still don't have everything plumbed for all of the, the water troughs. So we are drag, just dragging it down from the tank. So this is them. They're ch chill, they're peaceful, they have more grass over here. We're gonna get another hay ring, we're gonna bring some hay over here for them. Um, what we put in pen A was the three adults. So we got the calves, got the calves taken care of. We put the calves in here. If you notice, the calves are not in this pen anymore. I'll get it out. We put them all in here and they've been pacing. They still have like that, a little bit of tongue hanging out. There's just, it's taken them a while to calm down. They're gonna chill, they're gonna relax. I have them already separ segregated, separated. Now, the advantage that this gives me is, is the pressure to try and get this other, the rest of the herd worked has been kind of calmed down because I have these separated already. My calves are separated and my yearlings are all separated. So, you know, if there was ever a time you're like, oh man, I'm really glad I built three smaller pens, this is the time. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. So now I don't have to bring the big herd back in and try and segregate out and, and stuff like that. Let's go check out the calves. So these are our little calves. They are the escape artists. All right, so when you, when you wean a calf from the mom, there's definitely some pull to go back with the mom. You don't wean a calf and have a barbed wire fence between them, okay? I thought, okay, no big deal, I get that. And the first year, last year, we had them all in here and we weaned them. That's why all that looks pretty dead. That's where the hay bale went. But I took these guys and put them in that pen with all the other three adults, and I have that barbed wire fence, and I am like three, 400 feet away from the rest of the moms. Well, that didn't matter. Mom calls, everything else. And I come over and they're out and they're kind of trotting around. So. We got them out and we're just gonna have to leave them here for like a week to kind of chill out, burn off some steam, have the moms kind of say, you know what, fly the coop, dude. I don't really care. So we're gonna go get a water trough. I don't wanna have to put a concrete one in there. We're gonna get a water trough, get some hay, stick it in here. And we're also gonna start doing some sweet feed. Hi. And that's with our little sweet feed thing over here. So we're gonna use this, get that all set up in here and with the water, and we've got to get water to the other yearlings. So we're just going to take care of these little chores. But uh, our little Houdinis over here, escape artists, they got themselves out. So they're going into timeout for a while, about a week. We'll let them simmer down. Yes, we do know that that's kind of small, but uh, it'll last a day and it should be fine. We've got some other sweet feed here and some all stock. Again, this is, uh, if you're not familiar from last year, it's a 13% protein pellet. The reason we're giving this to them is so they can go ahead and get uh, bulkier, I guess, is to make sure that they get the proteins and everything that they need at this young age is different than the main herd. So we're just gonna give this to them. It's gonna take them a while to go through this.
trying to fill up the water bucket. Let's see what a mess I can make. Oh yeah, we could be doing like three trips. That's good yep. though. It means there's that much water. So we're up here getting the water out of this tank sitting on our trailer and um, Charlotte is actually filling up pen A's water and we positioned the water trough for pen B within reach so we can fill both of them up. Here's Susan gonna come over and check us out. They've calmed down a little bit, but... Still not amazingly calm. They haven't gotten to their cubes and they haven't really stopped pacing. They just keep walking around so guys, I'm gonna end this here. Appreciate you guys joining along with this. This took actually a lot longer than I thought it would. It took most of the day. We only did five animals, but uh, things afterwards ended up taking a lot of the time because we had to reorganize a pen and you know the babies escaped. We had to round them up, things of this nature. So things took a little bit longer today, but uh, everybody's happy. The yearlings are still eating their cubes. And these three ladies here in pen A are doing okay. They've got plenty of hay, they've got cubes waiting for them, and they're just pacing. They can do that for a while. So, um, just want to remind everybody, you know, when you work your animals, things can get a little crazy. Um, one of our gates, I think I said earlier, was now bent. Um, 38 threw herself at it. Um, but, you know, when you start getting them in that hyped up thing, and they, they just get stressed anytime they're in confinement like that. And we just gotta make sure that we take the steps to try and alleviate that by not going crazy with them, not screaming at them, trying to practice safe handling guidelines, um, things of that nature to try and keep the stress off. So anyway, I'm sorry I didn't get any shots of it. We're gonna stay here with the babies. We're gonna stay here with these little three cows as they come back through and enjoy the rest of the night. But otherwise, we will catch you later. Talk to you later, bye. Mm -hmm.